Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you are new to the channel, this is Making It Happen with Mary and I am Mary. Today's video, y'all, you must, y'all gotta know, I really love you, love you, to even do this video. <laughs> because I'm about to review and compare one of y'all's, because I know a lot of y'all out there love this fragrance. For me, it's high on my list of do not like. And it's Sweet Whiskey. Yes, Sweet Whiskey. Or as I affectionately call it, Sweet Pisky. But today I'm going to uh, put that all aside and give you an honest review and the comparisons. Because the comparisons are what trip me out most of the time. So I did go ahead and I picked up a mini in the latest packaging. I felt it was only fair to do that since I've been hearing that the new one is not quite like the one we've had before because I do have this packaging, which was from last year, 2022. So we have 22 and 23. This year, now, well, let me, let me start off by saying Sweet Whiskey is Golden Amber, Vanilla Infused Whiskey, and Sweet Red Berries. This year, I do like the packaging. I think it's cute. It is cute. All right. It still has that overwhelming smell of whiskey. But what I will say, because this year's last year's packaging, I think this year's is not as strong of the whiskey part as last year's. This year's is toned down a bit more, which is better in my opinion, much better. It still has, I don't really get vanilla in here. It's still whiskey and amber. The amber is prevalent in this year's version. I do get the ember, the ember, the amber. I'm not, what I'm liking is the fact that I'm not instantly repulsed. Because normally when I smell this, I instantly want to gag. But this year's, it's not giving me that. It's still super strong in the whiskey department, but not so strong where it's making me want to vomit. I don't get red berries in this, and I have heard a lot of people say that they do pick up the red berry note. I do not. But it is a very whiskey-heavy scent. I don't really pick up much more than that whiskey and a tiny bit of amber in the background. If that is something, if you've liked Sweet Whiskey in the past, you probably will like this year's version as well. Except you might be going, it's not as strong. But to me, it is strong. Just thank God it's not as strong as it was last year. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe if I layered this, I'm thinking with some very, very heavy vanilla scents. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play with it and see. I'm going to play with it and see. I am. I am. I am. But the comparison, y'all. <laughs> I was seeing a couple of influencers out there comparing this to Bare Vanilla Untamed. I also heard that it was being compared to, I think it was Velvet Petals Untamed or was Pure Seduction Untamed. One of the two. I can't find that one in my collection anywhere. It's the only one that seems to be missing and I'm upset about that. But Bare Vanilla Untamed, I was able to find pretty quickly. Scent notes are Vanilla Elixir, Apple Blossom, Bare Vanilla in the Wild. It's not even comparable. Bruh. You definitely get the vanilla, 100%. Which I don't really pick up vanilla in this. But I do get a tiny sweetness from the apple blossom in this one, which I don't think most people are going to be able to detect it because it, it is the most faintest sweet smell. It's very faint. I pick it up, because, but I, I've also had these fragrances. I mean, I put a hella dent in this sucker too. I love this one a lot. Is this like this? No. No. This is a sweet vanilla that's got a woodiness to it. 
No. No. When I compare them like that, no, 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 no. I did see quite a few people on Fragrantica comparing this to replicas by the fireplace. Now, I don't have the original replica. I have the dossier version. I love dossier. I am a huge proponent of dossier. No, I've never worked with them. But hey, if you're listening, hit me up. Dossier, I love them. Replica by the fireplace. They call it woody chestnut. Scent notes are pink pepper, orange blossom, and cloves. Chestnut, guaiac wood, cade wood, vanilla, peru balsam, and cedar wood. No, no, no. This is definitely very woody, smoky. I don't really get clove. You definitely get all those wood notes, though. The chestnut comes through. I'm not even really picking up vanilla, but I do get the teeniest bit of that Peru balsam. It's a beautiful fragrance. It literally makes you think you're sitting by the fireplace and... The wood's crackling and the smoke and the way it smells. That is this. But it ain't this, baby. No, 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 no. No, no. This is alcoholic. This is sipping coffee by the fire. Yeah, yeah. There is a YouTuber out there who is saying that they think this year's version of Sweet Whiskey is supposed to be Bonfire Bash. I want to know what you're smoking because I want some. I, uh, yeah, I, I, uh, scent notes for Bonfire Bash is bourbon vanilla, sandalwood, and cashmere musk. I definitely pick up the vanilla in here, more vanilla than bourbon. And sandalwood and that smoky, woody smell. If anything, I would think that these two will be closer to each other than these. Like, bruh. No, no. Again, this is like whiskey. It, it literally is like whiskey to me. Whereas this is so beautiful and there's a sweetness about that. I know it's the vanilla. But it almost comes across as like a toasted marshmallow. And I love this scent, as you can tell. This is my last bottle of this that I have left for the fall version. For the fall version. This is the last bottle I have left for the fall version because there was a summer version that came out a couple years ago and was very, very, it was much sweeter than the fall version. But this one's still sweet. It's so freaking beautiful. Oh, there is, these two don't even compare. Different ends of the spectrum, same smoky family, but this is way over here on this end, and this one's way over here, like fourth cousins maybe, maybe, maybe. I love Bonfire Bash, but it ain't no sweet whiskey, baby. No. No, 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 no. Now the last comparison I'm going to do. I, I'm a little like this when I heard this because I actually saw it on TikTok as well as YouTube. And I went so far as to look onto Fragrantica to be like, are people really saying this? And yes, they are. Y'all, they were comparing it to snowflakes and cashmere. Yes, Snowflakes and cashmere. <laughs> Snowflakes and cashmere is vanilla, cashmere, white tea, clementine, woody notes, and amber. Oh, this scent always brings back such beautiful memories. When I first fell in love with this scent years ago. And I remember... I actually picked it up in the winter. There was snow on the ground that year. And I remember having this big, like, poofy kind of a scarf on. And I had sprayed it all over the scarf. And anytime I would put that scarf back on for a little while after that, I could smell it. And it just smelled so 
intoxicating, just this cashmere vanilla with wood in the background. I don't really get, I definitely don't get clementine. I do pick up a teeny bit of white tea in there, but it's mostly woody vanilla cashmere with amber and it's gorgeous. Such a sexy winter scent that you could wear mostly. I would wear this probably more in the daytime than I would in the evening because for evening in the winter, I prefer deeper, richer scents, even deeper. I know some people consider this deep to me. Baby, this, this is like medium lightweight. But it's so pretty. But to hear them compare these two, I was like, y'all be smoking that funny stuff. Because no, no. Again, it's that whiskey and bourbonish like scent in this that's so heavy and it's just much deeper and darker than this is. Oh my gosh. If you had to compare the two, I will say this. If you are a fan of sweet whiskey, maybe wear this during the day and then layer this on at night to deepen it up. That might go well together. But snowflakes and cashmere, y'all, like for real? Really? Really? No. Oh, I love this one, though, and sometimes I forget just how pretty it is. I actually really enjoy doing these comparisons for y'all because sometimes I'm forced to pull out things that I haven't smelled in a while, and it makes me just fall in love with them all over again. So as much as you guys actually enjoy watching these, I really enjoy doing these. <sighs> Scent is such a powerful part of my life, and it's such a huge part of my life. I don't know... And it's crazy to me that almost 45 that I ended up starting a YouTube channel mostly on scent. It's just crazy. I never would have thought that 20 years ago, even though I was a scent lover even back then. Oh, so good. So good. It's just crazy. My little thoughts there in the moment, but I love snowflakes and cashmere and she is in no way sweet whiskey. <laughs> no, 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 no. All right, you guys, that is my review and comparison of Sweet Whiskey. I know a lot of you do like Sweet Whiskey, and I'm happy for you. Yeah, I will leave plenty on the shelves for you, baby. You got my word. If you like this video, you know the drill, y'all. Like, comment, subscribe, and ding the bell so you're alerted every single time we upload. Other than that, y'all, I will catch you in the next one. All right, you guys, bye-bye.